Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. Today I am revisiting an episode uh, I did three months ago called uh, Jelly Printing a Medium Format. And I was able to create these prints with a yellow brownish background as you can see uh, so I have three of them and um, I intended to put a collage on top of them to complete the picture so uh, that's what I'm going to do today um, I have assembled a few of my favorite collage elements. Uh, this is copy paper and I printed these out. Um, I, I made these on my computer uh, with a very simple program called Paint. And they're different thicknesses of black lines, different densities, and uh, here's another one. And I'm going to cut these up into certain shapes. And I also have uh, my one of my favorite collage uh, paper is this black tissue paper which lends itself well to collage and then I also have this red tissue paper so um, I have cut in advance a few favorite shapes um, And, and here's some leftover from a print that I did. This is done with some acrylic paint and a brayer. Here's some more leftover pieces. So I will proceed to arrange uh, the elements on there and uh, see what I can complete. Oh, there are specific shapes that I like and I tend to repeat them. So here is um, my favorite glue. Uh, I use this in all my collages. It's called Mod Podge. It's uh, odorless and it's non-toxic. It's um, 
think technically it's called a PVA glue, polyvinyl acetate. And this is a matte finish. And once it dries, it dries practically invisible. So I like to use it. So I'm going to start by get my glue pad here I'm going to start by brushing the area here where I want the tissue to be mounted. Now I am extra careful with tissue paper because it's very fragile and tears easily. So what I do is instead of gluing this, I just place it like so. And carefully apply the Mod Podge on top and I try not to brush it too much. Okay, there's one. Now these are a little more sturdy. This is copy paper. So I uh, can glue the back of it and more or less prime the area here. And uh, I, now with collage, you have to kind of work quickly as well because the paper starts curling once it gets wet with the glue, especially if it's a thin paper. Okay. Um, put that here. thing about Mod Podge, especially this matte finish, when it dries it's practically invisible. So you don't see traces of the glue. I used to use the high gloss one, but the Gloss I find a little distracting on the finished artwork. So I prefer the matte finish. There we go. So far I haven't ripped any of them, so that's a good sign. my first print. Uh, it's going to look better when the glue dries and right now there's a shine because it's wet but uh, when it dries it dries to a matte finish. Okay so I'm gonna put this aside to dry and work on my next one. Um, 
This is a leftover piece from a print I did. And I do like this halo blue. Okay, that's it for the second collage. Again, I'm going to put this aside. Just checking for some raised areas I have to press down. It's good to press it down while the paper is wet or once it dries it, it uh, that's it. It will impossible to move it without destroying it. Okay. Put this away to dry. So now I have the third one here. Um, let me see what I have. I also have this interesting marble paper, which I use occasionally. And sometimes they create some interesting effects.
Okay, so this is collage number three. Uh, again, I'm going to put this aside to let it dry. And uh, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I see these have dried nicely. And um, here, let me show you each one. And now that the Mod Podge has dried, there's no trace of uh, that shine. It's perfectly matte finish. Here's number one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. So it's a nice uh, suite of three. I don't know if you can see them all, but uh, here's the number three. Second one and the first one. So this is my uh, little revisit to my collage work. And uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time.